Sergio, Formula One, New York, Red Bull, Ford, pretty cool day. Talk us through it from your perspective. Pretty exciting to be part of the team at this point. Yeah, certainly. It's a, it's a massive day for us. You know, all the, all the work we've done through the winter is finally here. So, so yeah, um, you realize that it, it has started and, and uh, it's time to, to work, work hard, get ready for, for a new season. And in terms of off-season, what, what sort of things do you do to not just make sure you're ready for this season, but maybe to kind of get rid of the cobwebs of... Because of, seasons are long now, so what kind of things have you been up to? Yeah, I've been able to enjoy my family, you know, just not being traveling. That's yeah. already a, a big thing for us, you know, because we, we are on the road so much that it's important to be able to, to disconnect for a bit. Yeah. And in terms of just coming into this season, you had a couple of wins last year, but maybe an up-and-down season at points as well. So what's your, what are your expectations for this season and what kind of things are you hoping to maybe, maybe work on, improve on or, or keep at the same level? Yeah, uh, definitely consistency. It's, it's one of the main areas we got to work on and um, have a good platform that we can work around the, the car for, for the entire season. Yeah, and in terms of that, in terms of that consistency, at the moment the team is operating on such a great level. To be part of that, you know, you, you had a lot of years where you were waiting to be part of a great team. It must be really, you know, inspiring, motivating for you to have got to this point where it seems like everything the team does, you know, it's, it's like they're touching gold at the moment. Yeah, it, it's it's a massive opportunity, you know, to be a, to be able to be part of such a, a good period of the team, you know, where we are really. Um, winning and, and we are able to have a strong car that's that's really good for us and just in terms of the end of last season there obviously some of the headlines that were made were about what happened in Brazil but when you talk to people in the team you talk to yourself you talk to Max it's very clear the harmony is really there so coming into the new season do you guys feel at all like you know that there's a frustration at that perception or do you not really care that people feel that there's there's different things going on? no obviously people are, are always going to talk but but for now it's really important that we are uh, united we are working together as a team and uh, I believe that that will not change. And in, just in terms of the partnership with Max, when you have a teammate that's setting that benchmark, what's it like to come into every race knowing that you know you have to bring your best, you have to you have to be ticking all those boxes just to have a chance to, to match him and beat him? Yeah, well, when you are a teammate with Max, you know that uh, that it's always a very tough opponent, you know, and, and he always takes a hundred percent out of the car. So, so in that regard, it's always important to to be at your A game pretty much the whole season. And just finally, we're, you're bringing Daniel Ricciardo back into the team this year. Obviously, everyone knows about him from a personality point of view, but maybe you know struggled a bit in terms of form over recent years. But what kind of presence does does he bring back to the team? Because he's obviously known here. He's a popular driver. So, so what kind of things is he going to bring to the team? This year? Oh, he's certainly a great asset to the team. Uh, his experience is going to be helping us a lot to prepare the weekends and during the weekends. You know, um, he's someone that uh, has so many Grand Prix uh, in his pocket. And just one last one, actually. I said that's the second time I've said last one, but this is the last one. When Red Bull last year, obviously record-breaking season, you know, so many, so many wins across the board. How difficult is it for a team to actually maintain that level? Because if you, you could still win championships this year and maybe not win as many, and on paper it looks like it's maybe not a successful season, which is obviously nonsense to think about. But how difficult when you've when you've set such a high bar as a team is it to to consistently keep that bar high? Because teams haven't always been able to do that. Well, it's always hard, you know, to improve what you've done last year, but especially to improve what we've done last year. Uh, it's going to be quite tough, so we will try our, our, our best to, to try and do uh, our best season ever. Chaka, thanks very much. Thank Cheers. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content plus live streaming, make sure to subscribe to ESPN Player.